Hello, people of the internet. My name is Nick from Motor City Magic, and today I'm going to bring you my Infernoid Shadal deck profile. I took this to locals today. Uh, it was a 14 person local, not a very large one like we're used to. But I got fourth place, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I played against Geargia round one. I played against BA round two, and I played against Gadget round three. Uh, the only deck I lost to was BA. Which you would think that I would be great in the BA matchup, but I bricked pretty hard game two and I was up a game, so game three. Uh, we had a really close game. It was just back back and forth, back and forth, and uh, he eventually outbeat me in the grind game, which I kind of feel stupid about because I did misplay a bit. But anyway, let's move on to the deck profile. Uh, three copies of Infernoid Decatron. It's the best card in the deck. Let you send any Infernoid from your deck to the graveyard, and it'll gain its effects and level. So it lets you into really dumb Synchro Blades. And also, because of the Shadals, you can send it in a Shadal, then you get to float and stuff. It's cool. Pyramus, because fuck set cards. I do not like dealing with set cards. Oh, right, I played this card. Two Antras to bounce face-ups. Uh, two Harmonic to pop monsters. You don't play three, because three is very cloggy. The only three of Inferno is Petrulia because this deck is so vulnerable to back row. You can't even, like, it's so dumb. Like, you, you will lose to back row at the drop of a hat. So you need to clear as much of it away. Uh, two Cytomus, second best card in the deck. Uh, this and Stardust Spark let you remove a card every turn for free, so that's really cool. Two Atondo for rank 8 plays, and it lets you uh, attack twice. Two Deviati to blow up spells and traps. Again, you need to clear out the back row. Then you can go for game. Because you have really good monster removal. One in Nunku because I couldn't find a second one. And I don't even know if I'd play a second one, even if I had it. So that's it for the Infernoid part of this deck. Moving on to the Shadals. It's very small. One Hedgehog to search. One Beast for drawing. Dragon to out domain. And Squamata to send any other of these three. And that's it. Uh, the, again, the reason that you play Shadals in this deck is because, aka, this card's broken, and Wind is really good, Shekinaga's good, so, and plus I've always wanted to play this deck, so. Uh, shout out to my homeboy, uh, Professor Damage, he helped me build this deck, link to his channel will be in the description below, so. He helped me playtest it, he helped me get ready for the event, he helped me, uh, build it, so, shout out to him. So that does it for the shell part. Moving on to just some random monsters. Two Raiden, because this leads to level 8 synchro plays, and it's a good normal summon. One Mathematician, so that you can send a Shadal or an Infernoid, and it floats, and you want floaters. And then one Jet Synchron, because I play Jet Warrior in my extra deck. It's a rekindling target, and it can dump an Infernoid or a Shadal. That does it for monsters. I think at uh, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 26 monsters in the main deck. Pretty standard. Moving on to the spells. Two charge of the Light Brigade. Uh, no matter what, you get value out of this card. Either you mill and you get your raid in, or you just mill. Like, that's kind of it. Uh, yeah. Two Shadal Fusion. Uh, three is really inconsistent, and we're having such a small Shadal engine that you don't need to see Shadal Fusion in order to win the game. Like, it's just there to let you make extra deck plays. Whole reason it exists. Uh, Reasoning and Monster Gate. They're still the best cards in the deck, because you can... Like, even though more than likely you're going to hit a Shadal, you're still going to send Infernoids to the graveyard and get effects. So, like, or like with Monster Gate, you chip it off a Shadal, then you get an effect. Really cool. Foolish Burial, because you actually play Foolish Burial in this deck, and I couldn't find... I traded away my Gold Rare, so I'm stuck with the common. I'm okay with that. Burial to put the Infernoids back. One Soul Charge, because it's broken, because you've played in this deck. The one for one to get to Jekatron, or you can actually get to Jet Synchron and then go into a Synchro play with it. So it's really cool that way. One Rekindling to summon back your Decatron and your Jet Synchron. One Upstart for consistency. And then two MSTs. Because yeah, I couldn't afford Twin Twister. So that does it for the main deck. 40 cards. Uh, <coughs> I only bricked once the whole tournament. Like, the deck is very consistent. The amount of times you just open up two Infernoids and a Shadal and you can go off is amazing. So let's move on to the extra deck. Uh, God damn it. The extra deck will consist of two El Shadal Gristia. This is the whole reason you built the deck. She can negate special summons, I think. Yeah. So she negates Pendulum Summon. She negates. Ex they have to be inherent special summons, so. Uh, they, it can be like. 
it has to be like a pendulum summon, an XT summon, a synchro summon. It can't be something from a card effect, but she negates it by pitching a Shadal, and then she floats. So because she's a fire, and all the Infernos are fire, if you Shadal fusion and you can use your main deck, you send. You usually send like Beast and uh, a really big Inferno like Deviati. Then you draw a card, and then you can summon out the Deviati, and then you already have a bunch of pressure on board. One window because you can make it, so. You might as well. You usually go into Gerstia. And then one Shakanaga. You can make it with Mathematician, because Mathematician's an Earth. I was thinking about playing Card Trooper, but I just couldn't find the room for Card Trooper. So Mathman's the only way to make this, but I never summoned it. Like I just never needed it. I always made the Gerstias. So that does it for the fusions. One Jet Warrior to mount stuff, and then you can summon something from Graveyard. Yeah, if it's in your grave, you can trip it off in Inferno and summon it back, so that's really cool. Gaia Knight, because it's a vanilla. Goyo Guardian to take your opponent's monsters. Scrap Arch Fiend, because it's a vanilla. Start a Spark, because it can... Like, this in Window is also GG, because you can protect the Window from, like, uh, battle and shit. And then the Start a Spark is just there. Like, it's also a Sidemus combo piece. Crimson Blader, he's actually a fire monster, so if you have to shit all fuse... Also, Jet Warrior is a fire. Goyo and Gaia are Earth along with Scrap Archfiend. So they let you make into your plays. Leo's also an Earth. That's pretty cool. For the XE, we have Dweller, because fuck Monarchs in BA. Castell for the game one, Floodgate stuff, and Gemini Pearl. That's a vanilla. My favorite card in the extra deck, and probably the best card, Heretic Sun Dragon Overlord of Heliopolis. You can, tr you can detach and then tribute off any number of monsters from your hand or field to destroy any number of cards on the field the same amount you tributed, and it doesn't target. So it's non-targeting removal that triggers your Shadals and your Infernoids. Like, the card is dumb, and I'm happy that I finally got one so I can play it in this deck. Uh, I really wouldn't change anything about the extra deck. Just cut Jet Warrior for Omega. That's about it. Moving on to the side deck. The side deck is just a bunch of really bad cards that I threw in here at the last minute. That way I could play in the tournament. Uh, I only sided in like three cards the whole day. So two Lancia. I don't like Cosmo very often. I don't like them playing. It's a level five so I can go into synchro plays. And I sided the Kaiju engine. Four Kaijus and two Slumber. It doesn't really matter what Kaijus they are. You need two small ones and two big ones and then two Slumbers. Because you can mill these and not care at all. So, you only side these in against BA, Monarch, and Cosmo. That's the only time you need it. So, because you don't care about milling Kaiju Slumber at all, because it can search these. So, that's the Kaiju Engine. Two Dark Hole, because you're an Infernoid deck, you don't care about Dark Hole, and Winda survives it, so that's cool. Three Royal Decree, because it's Royal Decree, it's cool. I don't like traps. I don't want my opponent resolving things, and I don't like clean demise, so I'm playing Royal Decree. Then lastly, two huge revolution is over. Whenever a spell trap or monster effect that would destroy two or more cards in the field, you can negate and banish it. So you, it gets rid of it deals with Twin Twister. It deals with Pendulum Sorcerer. It deals with like Dark Hole Ragaki. <sighs> so uh, this is mostly for pen. Uh, this is mostly used in the pendulum deck, but I'm deciding to play it because I don't want my field getting nuked. So I don't want to have to use DD my DD Crow effects if I don't have to. So I'm just gonna play Huge Revolution is over for now until I can find something that's better. So anyway, guys, that is the Infernoid Shadal deck profile. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Also, leave any of your thoughts and whatnot in the comment section down below. My name is Nick from Motor City Magic. Uh. That's about it. <laughs> also, the giveaway is still alive for that Starfield NX. So, if you guys want it, let me know. Or I got a guy who's already got it. So, yep. Yeah, see you guys in the next video.